now we know the variance so we can do a hypothesis testing we want to actually check the uh, abnormal return is not just uh, positive and negative due to a random event so the null hypothesis as a standard we have normal return abnormal return with zero and alternative hypothesis can be one side or two side depend on uh, what the assumption you are making and the distribution of the uh, abnormal return uh, is quite complicated but if the length of the estimation window is long enough say a year as we have said before and then uh, its normalized value uh, will be uh, approximately distributed as normal uh, so uh, this is simply very easy to do now we are going to talk about uh, cross-session analysis and so far we talk about events that affect a single stock but very often macro event or a plucker event or disaster will affect more than one firm can be many firm or even the whole stock market consider n firms say so the event study to conduct is to consider the mean return of all n fan affected so basically just the average of them so basically just adding all up and divided by n and uh, the hypothesis done is the same just as whether uh, no hypothesis is equal to the abnormal return equal to zero or uh, alternative also can be one side or two sided and uh, again when the estimation window is long enough uh, the standardized uh, variable will be following uh, normal distribution normal distribution okay? and the difference is now look at the variance is like one over n square because the uh, summation one of summation of n uh, different uh, standard deviation now consider the case uh, you have more than one firm but also the other thing is uh, we have said is that even only lasts for one day a way of an event can more than a day uh, even the events one day the impact on the stock market can take several days because the market takes time to adjust or uh, uh, some of the information will be leaked to some people so uh, sometimes you want the event window even more than one day um, sometimes even months so it can be sometimes can be negative one positive one negative five to positive five and neg even negative ten to positive ten so what we do is also very similar you just add all the relevant days up so what you do is uh, we call the cumulative abnormal return car and see the car of stock i from time t1 to t2 is summation of all abnormal return for the stock during this period and then the norm return for all n stock will be the average car of all n stocks and the hypothesis thing will be the same so this standardized uh, variable also follow uh, standardized normal and the variance will be somewhat Similar, but of course we have to adjust for the time period.